There's nothing that I'm not willing to try anyway, so we will see. What's your worst fear? Racist. I think racists are the worst leavers, um, I, and I think they are the ones that I would struggle the most. I don't really want a new wife, but like <laughs> <laughs> never actually had a conversation with a family that was wholly leave. I don't really know anybody that actually re like voted Remain. Perhaps after this experience, I will understand the Remain's point of view, and hopefully they will be more acceptant of the Leave point of view. So what made you uh, vote Leave, if I may be so bold? Political correctness gone mad. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. No, you, that, that is banned at this table. Correctness gone mad is actually also known as not being bloody rude. Yeah? No, okay, not being bloody rude. I don't Seriously. disagree with you, Seriously. other than the fact <laughs> no. that we're in Great Britain, we're in a Christian country. At Christmas, you can't have a nativity play. That's not true. For fear of upsetting that is absolutely other people. untrue the thing being and again i don't want to pick on you you made me a lovely dinner and everything, <laughs> yeah, but are you anti-european or are you anti-brown skin and i think that's actually what this is coming down to because Ooh, got to the point very quickly yeah, but th no um... i'm sorry i don't want to be rude to you but that's very much what it's sounding like no, i'm not anti-european and i'm not anti-brown skin i was born abroad i was raised abroad that's like saying a lot of my best friends are black. You know, that's that May doesn't. I was going to say I have a number. Don't say that because it just makes you sound racist. <laughs> but I do have a number of, of multicultural friends. Fair enough. In all honesty, in the circles I move, I can't actually say that I know anybody that I would say was racist. Do you have a lot of immigrants here? Uh. I wouldn't say a lot, no, but you, you do get them. I haven't seen much diversity on Conway. Dagenham. Sorry? You go to Dagenham. Yeah. It is full of EU migrants. Look at Front Calais. Yeah, but Dunkirk. that's refugees. But a lot of them were from Lithuania, Poland. Not under Calais, no, no. These are yeah, refugees. Oh, right, I've got to admit, a lot of them were Afghanistanis. And... Yes, and they have nothing to do with the EU. Yeah, but the Dunk. Dave, Dave, sorry. I, I, I think you, you're mentioning two really important points, yeah? One is migration, so I'm happy to talk about EU migration, and one is refugees from outside the EU, which is an important issue. But let's not mix them up, because one has got nothing to do with the other. I can empathise with anybody that comes into this country, anybody that's working and loses their job and ends up homeless. I don't care what nationality they are, I can empathise with them, but... There are an awful lot of people, obviously, homeless in this country. And I believe, if you like, charity begins at home. British families should be thought about first. I just think that thinking that because you're British, you should be treated better, I, I can't be comfortable with living in a country where people might think that. I don't know what else to say to you, really. I just... I wanted to give you a bit of an inkling into how I perceive things because of my experiences.